Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Let me, uh, let me get to this next question here. Uh, I know we're doing this kind of uh, rapid pace, but, you know, we've got Eric here. We're going to, you know, and he's ready. He's ready. He's doing good so far. Okay, with the influx of new gun owners, many who may not be as familiar with the Second Amendment as we are, how do we help encourage them to embrace the Second Amendment and separate um, politics from the right to self-defense? That's mm. really the big thing, right? Because a lot of those people want to yeah. hold on to their politics. How do we get them to realize that the Second Amendment is separate from, or should be separate from politics? Yeah, you know, it's not an easy task, but I'll tell you, gun owners of America is trying. I mean, we're, we're actually aggressively pursuing these new gun buyers. We're, we're working with gun stores in many states around the country, and they're giving to every gun buyer an invitation to join GOA at a discounted rate. And, and this is what our message is to them is, look, you know, your right to keep and bear arms is important enough for you to take part in the political process. Because look, gun owners come from every segment of the population. They, they cross the political divide. And everyone, whether you're on the right or the left, uh, you know, you should have an interest in protecting your life. And, you know, just from what I was saying earlier, my own family's history is an example of this. I mean, my, my dad, you know, who was a champion for, for gun rights for, for over 40 years. I mean, and they're often surprised to know that he was once on the political left. But when he took me to that gun store that day and he bought that gun, for him, that was like the last straw in terms of his buying into the dogma of the left. I mean, it was kind of a, a slow process for him, but like that, that was the, the last thing. And, you know, that, that, that's the thing. The anti-gun left, they want to take care of us from cradle to grave. But when my dad heard that police chief saying, we can't protect you, <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. he realized the government couldn't protect him. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, anyway, that's, you know, GOA is working hard to reach people those people who were like my dad, you know, no mm -hmm. matter where they are in the political spectrum. Yeah, that's how I, that's how I started on this journey to where I'm where I'm at now. I mean, one day I woke up, I had an epiphany and I told Lola, you know, we can't we can't depend on anyone. We can't depend on the the government, politicians. You know, we, yeah. we have to do this ourselves and we have to start thinking, how can we do all these things ourselves? And that's what brought me here. And then I think from, from what happened last year when people were seeing all these cities getting burned down to the ground, you know, often um, the people that that in the protest they were supposed to be supporting are the ones who suffered the most from the riots that came out of that. And then people were calling to disband police and at the same time the police were standing down or standing back, although you know, our politicians were also standing down and standing back until something happened at the Capitol. That was weird. But uh, you know, that's- yeah, they're well protected. Yeah, that's leading a lot of people into the same direction right now. You know, um, some of them are doing it for the wrong reason. Some of it feel like, oh, you know, there's Trumpers out there who want to get me. But I think a lot of people, sensible people are looking at it and realizing we can't we cannot depend on anyone except ourselves. When this moment comes, when someone decides to, like, destroy our business, it's just us that's going to be there to defend our business. Right. That's absolutely right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, what what we saw last year was heartbreaking, and it just utterly, uh, seriously disgusts me, the hypocrisy and double standard uh, that we see. Because you know, you're right. I mean, they they talk about uh, defunding the police, yet uh, you know, certainly not for them on Capitol Hill. Uh, came out later that uh, the assistant uh, deputy or the deputy secretary at Homeland Security under Trump said that Nancy Pelosi asked actually asked for crew man machine guns. Uh, to be there for the inauguration. But of course, <laughs> what is their attitude about you and me having a machine gun, right? I mean, yeah. So it, it's a, a total divide. Uh, yeah. you know, it, I think, it, it'll yeah. show you what these guys will do to hold on to power. They'll, they'll be happy to get out there and uh, go after us. But, you know, um, the, the minute something that they feel threatened, they'll be, they'll be also happy to turn those machine guns on us, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is everyone here? I just saw something like click through. I don't know. Oh, you guys flipped. Yeah. From yeah. That yeah, we flashed out for a second. Yeah. But I'm here. 
Okay, just right. making sure. Let, let, us, let us know if you're out there as well. Hopefully, you know, nothing crazy has happened with YouTube or something like that. Anything's possible. And smash the thumbs up. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.